Hi guys, this time I want to talk about for a common issue with a generative view in Photoshop with high resolution images. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, I picked this image from pexos.com, link in the description. And let me show you the image size first. And definitely it's a high resolution image. Okay, let's say we want to expand the image a little bit. Let's go to crop tool, expand a little bit. Choose the generative expand from the drop down menu. Click OK. Let's stay the description empty. Just click generate button and let's see the result. Okay, in first place, everything looks good. But if we zoom a little bit, we will notice the difference between the original image and the generated area. The generated area is way more blurry. The resolution is just missing. You see the difference. That's why, because generative view uh, generate area of a 1024 by 1024 pixel and just stretch that area to match the pixels of the original image. In the latest version, we have this tiny little button that can enhance the resolution a little bit. Uh, this used the super resolution AI feature of Adobe. Let's click on it and see the result. Okay, now it's way more better, but we still can see the difference of the original and the generate area. It's a still a little bit blurry. To prevent that, we just have to generate more than one pieces of the empty area of a 1024 by 1024 resolution. Let me show you how to do that. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, first let's unlock the background layer to become a regular one. Let's go to crop tool again and expand the image. Okay, this time from the drop down menu choose transparent, not generative expand, but transparent. Click OK. Now let's go to React Angle tool and from the style drop down menu from normal choose fixed size and for width and height just type 1024 by 1024 pixels. Let's click on the empty end. Maybe somewhere here. Go to generative view. Empty description again. Just generate. Okay, let's zoom in. And now it's way more better. Now the resolution of the original image and the generated area is absolutely the same. Of course, we have our three variation to choose. But now it's very sharp. I'll generate the rest of the empty area for you and we'll increase the speed a little bit because it will be too boring. Okay, I'm done. Let's zoom a little bit. And as you see, the generated area is way more sharpened and it's very close to the original resolution of the image. This is not exactly a bug with generative view. This is just how it works from now. Uh, maybe Adobe in the future will increase that uh, 1024 squares maybe twice or even more, but for now, this is the way to generate a high resolution images. Yes, it's a little bit time consuming, but you can make some action to do it for you. 
I hope you like it. Subscribe with the bell for more videos and see you soon.